a young thug, you look at little Dirk. You hardly ever see situations when rappers get into serious problems over things they actually do themselves. Now, they may engineer it or whatever else, but ultimately all the dirt comes from the people they have around them, which usually have a criminal background associated with it, right? Young Thug didn't kill anybody, but they're saying that one of his people did, YSL Woody. Dirk didn't kill anybody, but a bunch of OTF people did. Why do you think, from your point of view, that once certain individuals become multimillionaires, have good legal careers, they pay taxes, you know what I'm saying? They, they have real, real businesses. They have payrolls. They have concerts that thousands of people attend. They have legal streams. They have deals on the table. Why don't they say, I'm just going to separate myself from this criminal element if I need security, I'm not going to have the street security. I'm not going to have the homie security. I'm going to have legal security. If some of my friends with criminal backgrounds manage to turn their life around and become actual business people and contribute legitimately to my business, I will keep them employed. But I'm not just going to have these guys around for intimidation purposes or make me feel a certain type of way. Because that's how these guys constantly get hemmed up. You have to consider the fact that they made they made these millions of dollars through disrespecting people and beef music. So you're not just gonna have any type of security that's gonna stand in the gap with you all day, every day when it comes to those situations. You could. No, you can't. Because what do you mean, this, no, you can't. this requires um other extreme measures, right? You can't sit around. See, you talking about the security and that sits there and waits for something to come to you. That's your security. You're talking about proactively. That's going your out. security. Yeah, your that's type of security you have, which works for you, because guess why? You're not disrespecting and creating, starting fires and beefing anybody, right? So you can wait till a problem come to you because you're not doing anything for a problem to come to you, right? You got ignorance where people want to. Have an issue. Yeah, and cool. I've had back and forth okay. with people, but, but it never it's never to the point where I'm threatening violence or anything. I'm else smoking like that. on Pookie. No. Smoking on Lala. I've never said that. Left a motherfucker under the tree. Yeah. Never. Your mama this. Whoop to whoop, suck my this, this, this. Now you in a situation where you gotta have a type of security that's gonna go get it before it come get you. You understand what I'm saying? So the very same thing that's making them millions of dollars, right, is putting them in a position where they have to have that element around them. You understand what I'm saying? It's only one person that I've seen that's been successful, the most successful gangster rapper I've seen that had minimum problems was Ice Cube. Although Ice Cube had problems. No, he has minimal problems though. Very minimal. From a solo, allegedly. That's minimum, yeah. but that like, and that's really some personal stuff. Um, but he still has the same security, right? Um, you have people like the game that has positioned itself amongst his community in the world where people genuinely love him, right? So game is a guy that can really move around without security because he can pull into a gas station and the SLP pumping gas and other dude in the convenience store I'll be like, gang, what's up? You straight? Right? The atmosphere becomes his security because how he is, right? He's just a, a helping person and a giving person. And he'll stop and build with anybody. People respect that. But these guys, bro, have created their millions through beef music. Right. But keep in mind that game was very deep in the beef music. That's and, back then. And he would be 45 in 30, 40 month. deep, you know, so yeah, far. I, been, I personally have seen it. It's been many moons. It's been yeah. at least. Yeah. Whenever game shows up for Vlad TV interviews, 20, he's by himself. It's been probably a good 10 years solid. You know, I, well, we had a little thing with the meat milk. That wasn't that serious. But a good, good 10 years where he's been, 
You know, ever since that documentary too, that red and blue CD, that his element has changed. But when you got somebody whose music is disrespecting the dead, right? Or disrespecting another block of another neighborhood, you gotta have that around you. You know what I'm saying? There's no way you going in this pig style without stepping in some shit. Hmm. Yeah, but right? a lot of times it becomes that person's undoing. Like right now, the YSL trial is happening. YSL Woody is the reason why this is even happening. Because of the murder that Woody allegedly did and all the cooperation he did about that over the years is the epicenter of this case. So is that was that Woody's fault? Is that Woody's fault or is that Young Thug's fault? Thug's fault. He's the boss. He exactly. made the decision, right? Thug, Thug had a whole bunch of people around him that are using this YSL name. So you got the Lil Wayne tour bus shooting. You got you got the, the murder of Nut. You got all these different situations. And these guys are shooting cops and everything else like that. And they all have YSL in their name. Uh -huh. And you have people that look like you telling them in the boardroom, where's your movement? You know, where's, does your city respect you? You know, we come to the studio or the video, is it going to be support? Right? Let's keep it real, right? Let, let's, the record label. let's talk about, that's your people. I mean, it's not my direct that's people. Your, that's but... your people. My people are the, that's your people. Oh, no, no, it's also, it's also no, your my, people. No, no, I mean, you know, there's no, lots of black, uh, no, no, you know. No, 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 no. Black record label owners. No, 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 there's let's, QC. Let's, there's listen, people like that. There's Diddy. QC is a native from Atlanta, Georgia, mm -hmm. who comes from the street, been to prison, who, reset his life, cleaned up, and went legal. Right. As a black man. Right. Right? Great. Shout out to P. That's my brother, right? But the record labels, right, also influence and motivate these same young men to we want to see a movement. Right? So it's kind of like they're stuck between a rock and a hard place. The DDG that steps to the, through the door, very talented individual. Yeah, I know DDG. Very talented individual, humble individual will get less attention from the dude that comes to the door 20, 30 deep. They gonna say, yo, he got the look, he got the movement. 